Hello guys, it's Mashtag here. In today's video I want to share my favorite emulation station theme with you guys and show you how to install it. The theme I'm talking about is called the NBBA theme. First of all, I want to credit the original designer called Sikassi for this great theme and I want to say thank you to Vishnu Preserve for mentioning it in an email he sent me as feedback to my YouTube channel. Otherwise, I would not have known that this cool theme even exists. Later in the video, I will also show you a modificated version of the NBBA theme modified by Murat Erdin. Now, before I show you how to install it to Emulation Station, let me show you why this is my favorite theme and give you a short impression of what you get when you install it to your RG350. So therefore I'm just gonna scroll a bit through the list of systems and as you can see it is a very common theme. It always shows you um, a picture of the system you currently have selected. In the background you have an image of the controller input and I like when the pictures give you a good impression of what system you currently have selected. All right, now to give you an impression of how the systems look when you select it. Let's take a short look into the Game Boy section here. And this is how your ROMs are represented. And I also like the design of this page. It has the system name in capital letters on the top or in big letters on the top. You have that list of ROMs on the right side. Um, to be honest, it's really hard to read um, since the font size is really small. but Therefore, the main thing, so the box art on the left hand side is really big and very present and this is actually the only information you need to find the ROM you're looking for. In addition, this theme has some further information about the ROM on the lower side of this screen. It tells you about the developer, the genre, if it's a multiplayer game or not and the release date. Alright guys. Now that you already got an impression of the theme itself, it's time to install it to Emulation Station on our RG350. So grab your RG350 and let's do it together. Alright guys, so the first step we have to do is just to download the theme itself. And therefore I put you a link into the video description that takes you to my Google Drive. And if you follow that link, it will take you to a folder uh, in my Google Drive called Themes and that folder contains the ES theme NBBA original.zip and the ES theme NBBA minus mod.raw file. Um, we want to download both of these versions. So let's download the original one and the uh, modificated version. Okay, let's wait until it has downloaded. Now the download is complete. Let's switch over to our download folder. Um, it's right there. Okay, and we are just gonna extract both of these archives here. I'm gonna extract them to folders that are named the same as the raw and .zip file are renamed. And these folders contain the theme. Now, let me resize this a bit, okay. So the next step is going to be to copy over the theme to our RG350 and therefore we want to connect um, to the RG350 using WinSCP. This is the way that I do it. So just start WinSCP, connect to your RG350 and locate to a folder called Media Data Local Home. And there you should find the .emulation station folder. So jump into that folder and it contains another folder called themes. And that themes folder is actually the folder where we have to um, drag and drop our theme folders that we just um, extracted. So jump into that folder. It contains another folder called ES theme NBBA. So just take that folder and drag and drop it over to your RG350. 
And I'm going to fast forward this until the copy process is complete. Okay, now I'm going to do the same with the modificated version because I want to show you both of the versions so you guys um, have an impression or can, can select if you want to install the original or the modificated version. So now I'm going to drag and drop over the modificated version. And I'm also going to fast forward this until the copy process is complete. All right, now I have both versions of the NBBA theme copied over to my RT350 right into the themes folder in Emulation Station. So now it's time to switch over to the RG350 and choose the theme from our menu to activate it. Okay, now here we are back on our RG350. So let's start Emulation Station. Therefore, switch over to the emulator section up there using your shoulder buttons and choose the Emulation Station icon and start it. Now to activate the new skin, just simply press the start button to enter the main menu and use the D-pad to get down to the UI settings there. Confirm by pressing the A button and when you scroll down using the D-pad to the very low lower entry in this um, menu, you get into the theme set and there you find the ES Theme NBBA. Um, I have installed another version of it, the ES Theme NBBA Carousel Video. Don't um, get confused by this. So the two versions we installed is the ES Theme NBBA. This is the original version and the NBBA 4RG350. Um, this is the modificated version. You can just simply rename these um, in the themes folder but for now, these are just the names, so we can um, differ in between the original version and the modificated version. So to start the original version, just choose this theme. Simply navigate down to the back button, confirm by pressing the A button. And now that you're back in the main menu, simply press the B button to get back to the emulation station menu. And this is our theme. This is how the original version looks like. And this is what I already showed you um, at the beginning of this video. So I think you guys already have an impression of how the original version looks like. All right, now let's jump back and choose the modificated version. So press start again, go down to UI settings and switch to the theme set here and choose NBBA for RG350. Go back. All right, now we're back in the main menu. Leave it by pressing the B button and this is how the modificated version looks like. Very similar to the original one, but um, as you can see, the, um, the image of the system is a little bigger in the middle, so everything is more centralized here. And as you can see, the fonts are even bigger, so it's much easier to read. Now let's jump into the Game Boy section here and see how the ROMs are being displayed here. All right, yeah, this looks way better. Um, yeah, this version has an increased font size, which really makes the, um, the names of the ROM readable. And it seems like Murad Erdin removed these additional informations down here. They are not really that interesting. So, he even reduced it more to the um, essential stuff that we need. So we have the list of our games on the right hand side and we have a huge box art on the left hand side. And yeah, it, it works pretty smooth. And to me, the, the font looks really cool. I like it. Um, yeah, that's it. That's what I want to show you guys. Um, this is the way you can add themes to emulation station on your RT350. So adding any other theme is pretty straightforward the same way. Just get the theme and copy the theme over to your themes folder in emulation station. So I would like to know um, what version of the NBBA theme you guys prefer. Let me know in the comments 
So if you haven't done yet, feel free to subscribe to my channel. And if you like that video, I would appreciate if you give me a thumbs up for it, so I will provide you more with videos like this in the future. Now thanks for watching and see you guys in my next video. Bye!